Alrighty, Roo, recording a second gack in one night, trying to stay on top of it ish. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what's up? How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Yeah. Uh, So I actually recorded these out of sequence, so if you watched uh, the other video against Royce it got a little political, so I'm really sorry. Uh, It's not, uh, I don't don't voice any particular political side. Uh, I am a registered Democrat. Uh, I would prefer to be an independent, except independents don't really have a voice. So I go with how my state usually ends up. There are, it doesn't really make, actually in New York State it doesn't make sense to be anybody because your vote means absolutely nothing. Uh, It's not a very purple state. It is a decidedly blue state, although most of the blues are downstate. And then I guess maybe, uh, you know what? I think downstate really accounts for most of the population and the votes in New York. Um, but beyond that, we're not going to get very political. Um, yeah, this is why I hate recording GAC voiceovers, because it's just the same shit. And, I mean, I'm an egomaniac narcissist, but even I don't like hearing myself talk for as long as I often need to when recording multiple gag videos. This one's against Ronan Rain, who is a Team Instinct person, I believe. Um, So yeah, uh, we went over the news in the other video about the final requirements for the Galactic Legendaries. Uh, It's going to be hella difficult. Um... At least they're, they've given us a good bit of lead time. I think that's the only um, upside to it. Uh, the question is, how impossible are the events themselves going to be? Uh, time will tell. We will know within the next fortnight or so, I do believe. Uh, yeah, it's totally going to change the meta. Gas which reigns supreme for all of, how many months? It came out in October, right? October, November, December, January, February, March. So six months, hey, that's actually not bad for uh, as far as a meta goes, um, which now everyone has lasted longer than the uh, Jedi Training Ray meta, which lasted for all of like two weeks, I'm pretty sure. But, So it'll be interesting for sure. Uh, The scales are certainly going to tip in, well, even further in the favor of whales and more specifically, krakens. Um, We'll see if there is any kind of a mass exodus from the player base as a result of not being able to unlock the characters through the events. We'll see. Who knows? Again, time will tell. Um, and then I can't fucking wait for new, like, non-sequel trilogy characters to start coming out. Um, I will give my left nut if we get uh, another clone team. And then in response to that clone team, we get Pong Krell. I've been... Waiting for Pong Krell. When I first started recording videos for public consumption, I made a couple of spec videos. Well, not really even really spec, but like wish list videos on characters that I would really like to see in the game. You can look, go all the way back to the beginning on my channel. I think it was in like June or July or some shit. It was definitely June or July or maybe even May. No, it was definitely June or July. 
Uh, I made a video and I wanted Pong Krell way back when. I still want Pong Krell now. Pong Krell is such a fucking great character. He's a fucking baller. Why wouldn't we want Pong Krell in the game? Top Hat or whomever, if you are watching and listening, in the off chance that you actually give a shit about what your players are doing and what they would like, give us Pong Krell. Perfect timing. We got the final season of the Clone Wars coming up. You're adding a bunch of characters, presumably from that, because y'all want to make money. Let's be real. Pong Krell. Pong Krell. There's only th- we're only three episodes in, in fairness, but I haven't seen any new bad guys. Lots of new good guys, but maybe a couple new droids. But whoop de fucking do. Give us Pong Krell to, like absolutely wipe the floor with clones um yeah there's get off my soapbox right now um don't know if we're going to see a new palpatine uh as of today he is on the list to be Relic 7, if you intend to attempt the Galactic Legendary events. I did mine already, but does that mean that we aren't getting a new Palpatine, or does it mean we are getting a new Palpatine? What do you think? Because we had to Relic 7 both rays, or not Relic 7 Scavenger, did we? I don't remember. But certainly, Jedi Training Ray, we had to Relic 7. And, oh my god. What if you have to get Galactic Legendary Ray and Galactic Legendary Kylo in order to get the new Palpatine? Oh my god, that's totally what they're going to do. All right, who's taking bets on this? Who's taking bets on this? We're calling it right now. You're going to need Galactic Legendary Ray and Galactic Legendary Kylo in order to get the new Palpatine. I don't even know what that would be. Because if these are Galactic Legends, what is the new Palpatine going to be? Like the Universal Legendary? Right? I don't know. Like a universe is bigger than the galaxy, right? Yes, that's right. Multiple galaxies within the universe. Um, no, that's totally what they're going to do. It would be kind of anticlimactic if you had to use either or both galactic legends in order to just get like a normal legendary character, right? That'd be kind of anticlimactic. But that's totally what they're going to fucking do, man. You know it. You know it. I should work for CG because I know how they operate a little bit and how they think. I'm also Jewish, so I'm really good at maximizing money. Right? So, yeah. Hire me, CG. All right. Um, What else? So you saw me undersize with gas uh, just so I could use shock T clones because I love shock T clones, even if I'm using Cody and Sergeant in here. Um, oh, excuse me. A little sleepy. CG shit the bed and Territory Wars canceled itself, which is kind of funny. And then now we're getting 150 crystals as compensation. And I don't know about y'all, but I, I use 100. I wipe my ass with 150 crystals. I use 150 crystals refreshing the shops just to buy more shit that costs more crystals. Uh, so thanks for uh, a whole lot of nothing. Also, a lot of people are pissed because it's <laughs> fucking up their murking schedules uh i haven't murked since i seven starred gas i would only murk just to get the extra get one for gas so that really is 
of no consequence to me. However, there are plenty of people that rely somewhat heavily on Mercs for, you know, a top 10 in the raid, really, and the gear salvage and rewards that come with that. So, yeah, a lot of people are uh, very not happy with that. Um, also, the guild that we were facing in Mall 1, I don't even know who that was, but I don't I honestly don't even know that I even checked what guild it was, truth be told. I just kind of slapped down my defense and that was it. Work has been really busy the last few weeks and it's finally starting to, I wouldn't say quiet down, but normalize, certainly. Um... So I haven't had a whole lot of time for this, uh, aside from getting in my daily shit. But uh, finally, my schedule is opening up a little bit, and I'm trying to get back into really everything. TW GAC videos uh, just in time for the Galactic Legendaries, because I am going to bet that that shit is going to cost me the better part of my day and the better part of my bi-weekly paycheck. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Man, I put Wampa in here as a fifth because I have Poggle elsewhere, and this looks like it was a bad idea. Um, there's no way that I should lose. I also made the mistake of not killing Sith Trooper first. That was pretty stupid. But there's no way I should lose. But yeah, Wampa got uh, pretty well manhandled there. Which is surprising. Um, yeah, well, whatever. What are you going to do? Um, what else? It is March. Which means we only have seven more months until the Mandalorian comes back. Uh, I would really hope. I really hope that the Mandalorian doesn't hit a sophomore slump because that would suck. That's like the one thing, in terms of Star Wars media, that I'm really, really, really happy and excited about in terms of future prospects. Um, luckily, it's Filoni and Favreau with a little bit of Taika Waititi in there, so should be good. Can't wait till Taika gets commissioned to make his own standalone film because that would be sick. Uh, if you haven't seen Jojo Rabbit, you should. It's actually pretty funny. If you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, you definitely need to see that because it is fucking hilarious. It's the only Thor movie that I actually like because I find Thor really boring. But Taika's spin on it is really, really, really good. Also, he's a Polynesian Jew, which is awesome. I'm an Asian Jew. It's slightly less awesome, but it's nice to... It's nice to feel and see someone that I sort of identify with. Uh, yeah. Um, what else can I filibuster about here? Let's see. Stock market's down. Uh, it's going to go down a little bit more, I think. But if you have not invested in the market, then you may want to think about scaling in. Because once this coronavirus shit is over with, and it will end soon-ish, um, then the markets are probably going to come back fairly strongly, especially if the government eases monetary policy. Um, these sorts of viruses, while very serious and very dangerous, generally do not outlast the turn of the seasons. Like, no one gets the flu in May or June. Well, not no one, but very few people get the flu in May or June. There's a reason why the flu 
is flu season is like October to March because uh, evidently viruses prefer cold environments whereas bacterias prefer warm environments so pick your poison I guess yeah the markets will come back and I'm done 1913 final score